Let's check out the reel. So far, so good. Okay. It's not too shabby. It's a bit more of a somber clip. Which means that this gets a bit... It's a bit over-animated with that much drag. You don't really want to do generally something like this unless it's super cartoony but it's also the move is really fast and kind of anything that's like that high energy movement wise is going to take away from the tone of the audio and then i would get some bimbos in there just a little bit to round out that shape it's a bit exaggerated there there especially and i'm not sure i'm not sure to be honest that you need this but it's just, it's very common to put in gestures. And with this being, like the energy of the audio is so quiet that to me, this is almost, uh, that's not the right way to zoom with this tool, but I would do something that's more like this, to be honest, let's see. Yeah. And then I will keep the gestures, just bring that thumb in so we don't see the thumb, but we still feel this. Because then it's like a, a natural thing that the actor did and he just happened to frame it like this. Or maybe even one closer if I can. Okay. So that's probably what I would do for this one. Hold on, I'm going crazy here. There you go. After that, Oh, it's because I have this speed uh, double. There you go. I did what I had to to survive. And the thing about this is that it's a cool walk. I think you're a bit too much in terms of how far the scapula travels back. Definitely high is okay. You can actually go even slightly higher. But you're going from, you know, a bit more. I mean, it's not super cartoony, but it's still, you know, given the rig and everything else, it's a cartoony showcase to going to a photo reel um clip so i'd be careful mixing these i think this one would be vfx reel yes but then on a cartoony reel it would just be you know maybe you bring in some cartoony eyes and and then you have like bushes or something and you got a little creature that goes there hides uh, right as the thing looking over here you know hides then it looks over there and then it pops up and scurries over there. You mean like you can make something cartoony out of this? This. It's always good to have full body mechanics for sure. It just feels light. That's my main feeling, especially here. How it comes in. Like this feels more like he is. You know, some X-Men, something floating down. But if that's a float, then I would have coming down, float, stop a little bit with some overlap and then drop. Because right now it's neither here nor there. Like, is he floating? Is he falling? But if he's falling, the physics are off. It's too, it's too slow. So we don't quite know what this is supposed to be. And then careful, you have a land and the move at the same time. So I don't know where to look technically. Then that's okay we're getting into this so that for your silhouette you don't want that in front of the body you can you can clear that up a little bit that's all cool there's okay stuff here watch out we're really pinching this and breaking the model and then you gotta work a little bit on asymmetry you know like one eyebrow higher than the other the face could be slightly like this like the mouth could be over and tilted And then careful here, just in terms of everything is set up to be right to left in terms of how they are situated, right? You got the, there you go. This guy is on the left, on the right, but then you get to this, yes. And then still yes. And then it's weirdly on the right side and almost looking at me, like this should be staged like that, clearly looking this way. And then that as an ending is a bit simple. Also, the danger is that you're moving him straight away from camera. So you can't do really much in terms of C-curve reversals or anything with the line of action because 
all we're seeing here is shadowing and visually slit wise him getting shorter but we don't see you know imagine he's more three quarter and he's like this and gets gets blown back you can play a bit more with the silhouette so that as your finale shot is just a bit a bit soft and kind of weak that works i think my com this is good for weight like i like that you have weight in there it's it's borderline you have to be careful when you have a full body mechanics action shot like this you're covering a lot of bases there so do we need something like this again where a character is running and jumping and doing all of this the plus point on this one is this i would almost nix this and do a separate shot just about weight someone lifting pulling something but like really specifically about weight but not a character lifting a box so it should be something that's in a movie like like someone's buddy is asleep or drunk and someone has to lift him up and put him somewhere or you know like the dock worker picks up like a really big my example is always like a fish and a fish is struggling so then you have weight plus something that happens you know where the weight is kind of the driver almost and then it's more like the quirky day job of a fisherman or something so, you know something that's a bit beyond an exercise like stuff like that when you have set pieces like this that just feels very exercisey because it's just it's just kind of a platform there same thing with something like that so for me it's always like it's not super extra effort like even on something like this it's cool but then i would add just like a blue background give us some sky or something so it doesn't just feel like your default maya background it was already going you know further with your ideas and sets here and the complexity of all the shots and stuff you might as well continue like this to me feels more like a shot versus that where the background is missing so you know do you need it no should recruiters just look at this yes but then imagine how many people are doing something like this what will set you apart obviously it's the storytelling the entertainment value the acting and all that stuff but even like little things where you go like oh this person really went above and beyond to make it special and and one wants to stand out basically all right that's kind of what i have as always these are you know all super subjective take from it what you need and uh, that's it all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you